Am I squeaking against my dress? I don't wear lady no. clothes very often. Okay. Uh, uh, what a year it has been, and it is so insane to try to do a show like this anyway. You pray to God that between Christmas and New Year's, something doesn't happen. And so it was awesome until a guy lights his cock on fire. <laughs> and it was kind of incredible to watch the story unfold because there's a guy who makes the shoe bomber look like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> what about that clean coal? Everyone's <laughs> still saying clean coal. Like a virginal whore. But saying clean coal. One of the most surprising things of the year is that you can get gay married in Iowa, but you can't in LA. <laughs> Nobody would have seen that one coming. <laughs> All those gay corporate farmers are so happy. <laughs> they are living the fucking dream. <laughs> really, I find gay marriage annoying. Because once my gay married friends get married, they're just fucking boring like my other married friends. <laughs> Now it's you and me and you going, hey, no, hey, no, hey, put that down, put that down, put down our game for, put down the game for. Don't play with the game matches. <laughs> they, not I, refer to themselves as tea beggars. <laughs> And it's funny because I did talk to some women who were like, I don't know what teabagging is. And I go, it's the thing with the down the face. And I go, oh, that's what that's called. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. We want to know Mr. Ed Biggest story of the year. Biggest story of the year. Biggest story of the year. I was on a fucking airplane that landed on the Hudson River. No. I, was, I was on it. CNN didn't cover it because I'm kicking their ass. Fox didn't cover it. Is that true? Then, uh, no. Wait, wait. So the media's out there saying, wait, what a great landing. Why? I bought a freaking ticket to Charlotte. What do you mean it's a great landing? <laughs> great landing. Carl Rove got his second divorce. He's not that good at opposite marriage, apparently. So I'm saying. <laughs> thing about Al Franken as senator that Norm Coleman has to have in his political resume lost to a wrestler and a comedian. <laughs>